By this stage, you should have created the interface for your MoMasher app, and all we have to do now is create the code. So moving into my blocks editor, the first piece of code I'm going to create is to define a variable. And this is going to be the score variable, and I'm going to give it a starting value of zero. Now this block basically sets up a variable called score. It's available throughout the entire program, which is why it says global there, and initializes it, gives it a starting value of zero. Notice again, just as we did with components, we've given this variable a meaningful name, so it's easy to recognize when we're working with it. Now looking at my algorithm, I'm now going to create the code that moves the mole. And to do this, I'm going to use a procedure. A procedure is a piece of code in a program that does a particular task. And it's like creating your own command within the App Inventor language. So going into the procedures blocks, I'm going to drag out a to procedure do block. I'm going to call it move mo. And this procedure will contain all the code that's needed to move the mo. Notice how we give procedures name that start with an uppercase letter and variables tend to start with a lowercase letter. That's just something that programmers commonly do. It wouldn't stop your program from working if you didn't, but it makes procedures and variables easier to distinguish. And what we want to do here is set the mole's x and y coordinates on the canvas. So going into image sprite mole, I want to set the image sprite mole's x coordinate to a random place along the canvas. First of all, let's work out the size of the canvas. This is going to be the canvas width minus the width of the mole. But this would make it appear at the same place every time. So we're going to introduce an element of randomness. And App Inventor allows us to create a random fraction. So it's going to be a random fraction of times that amount. And I'm going to do exactly the same for the Y coordinate but I'm going to cheat here, so right click and duplicate this code block. And I'm going to set the image sprite mole's y coordinate to a random fraction of the canvas height minus the mole height. So the procedure will move the mole to a random position on the canvas whenever it's called. I'm also going to add a comment here, which will explain what the procedure does. And this is going to be useful to either me when I come back to maintain my code at a later date, or to another programmer who might want to amend my code. And I can show and hide comments in this way, and I can also move them around to another position. I can also collapse a procedure so that it appears as a single line of code. Now this can be useful not just to save space on the screen, but also to treat a procedure as a command. We're kind of zooming out here and saying, I've dealt with that and now have a command to move the mole. I could, of course, expand the block again and go back into it if I ever needed to make changes to it. Next, we're going to create another procedure to update the score. So going into the procedures blocks, drag out a to procedure do block, and we're going to call this update score. And every time we update the score, we're going to set the label score text. And going into text, I'm going to join the word score Notice how I put a space there so the actual value doesn't appear right next to the colon. And the value of the variable score. So I'm going to get the value of global score. So this is going to set the label scores text to the word score 
followed by the value of variable score. So it's going to say score 5, score 6 and so on. And I'm going to add a comment to this procedure too. Now looking at my algorithm, I'm now going to add the code that deals with when the mole is touched. So going into image sprite mole, when image sprite mole is touched, this one here, I'm going to set the score variable to what it was before, so I'll get that value. plus one. So this instruction adds one onto the score every time the mole is touched. And once that's been done, my program can call the update score procedure so this is using the code in the update score procedure above. We're then going to make the phone vibrate. So going into sound mole hit, we're going to call sound mole hit vibrate. And we've got to say for how long. And we'll make that 100 milliseconds. A tenth of a second. Just a short vibration to give feedback to the user. We also want to play the sound for when the mole is hit. So call sound mole hit play. And once the mole's been touched, call up the procedure to move it again. We're now going to create the code for the start button so that when it's clicked, it sets the score to zero and updates the score display. So going into button start, when it's clicked, the score variable, which we defined earlier, Set that to zero. Update the score. Finally, we're going to use the clock timer we created earlier to move the mole every time the clock goes off. So when clock timer fires, move the mole. And that's all the code in our app. So to test your app, either fire up an emulator or live test on a phone. Have fun!